Hello, welcome back. So welcome to day three of Tag A Day. So today we're going to make these tags. Um, I, you know, when I started the series or thought about it, I wasn't really thinking about the holidays coming up. But what I was thinking about was just giving myself time to make art for 15 minutes a day. That was the whole idea for me. It was just with no rules except that it just was going to be small art so that I could actually finish it because I don't know about you but I certainly have many projects that I have started that I haven't finished and then I'll get overwhelmed or sidetracked or I don't know you know life sometimes gets in the way so this was just for me the idea was an exercise in arting for 15 minutes a day so I hope you guys join me for the tag a day challenge making art for 15 minutes a day just making a small tag and this tag is a uh, about two and a half by five i think five and a quarter but you could make your tag any size you want somebody said they wanted to make bigger art make it it's really just about the whole idea behind it was just making the time for yourself to make art so i made my packaging tags out of a cornflakes box you can make yours out of anything you want that also the idea is also use what you have not you know not to go buy a bunch of stuff okay and I don't know if you guys ever watch my series but I make painty papers so these Christmas these happen to be Christmas themed because it is the holidays um, so I'm gonna use some painty papers on mine and you can go back and watch I have many videos on painty papers I'm a little bit addicted to painty papers the one thing I found about cutting any sort of thin book page or magazine page or my only tip or hint is to make multiple layers. It cuts better in your punches. So just letting you know. That's my big tip of the day. There's three there. You can use anything to make your tags with you guys. It's not, um, it's really not it's really not about uh, anything right or wrong. It's just about having fun and arting. So I hope you guys are having a good weekend. It is Sunday where I live, and of course I had the best of intentions of doing so much more art this weekend, but you know, I have a family, and they don't always have that same intention. So I haven't really gotten to, to do much today. I sat down just a couple minutes ago. I was going to clean my desk off, and some of the I always keep book pages and different things underneath my painting station so they could, you know, grab the paint that I'm painting. And how the tag even came about was this particular book page was stuck to the table, it had been glued down. So I like the way it looked. So, and it has some texture paste on it because the ones I did yesterday had texture paste. So, oh. I don't know. The ones I did yesterday were texture pasted and I don't know. But you guys use what you have. Use what you have. Enjoy what you, you know, there's no right or wrong. I would tell you, you guys, if, you, if you're if you sending these tags and you think somebody's actually going to look at the book page or whatever underneath it, <laughs> I've been known. Oh my gosh, you guys have been known to send racy book pages. Not on purpose. Okay. Can I add not on purpose? I have done my own, oh, you guys have no idea. My family sometimes calls me Lucy, as in I love Lucy. So you might want to text your, te you might want to check your text before you, especially if you can see the pages underneath. Now I don't mind that you see that mine are, um, you know, product, product packaging tags. If you do, then take the time to paint put another coat of paint on it. You know, take the time to, if you're gonna use cereal boxes and you don't want anybody to know that you used cornflakes boxes, then take the time to um, take the time to paint over it with more gesso or more whatever you use. Okay, so I have, have these two. So I guess I'm making two for the moment. Um, so I hope you guys join me in this tag a day challenge. I don't exactly know how long I'm going to do it. I, you know, I have the best intentions of wanting to do it for a whole year, but we'll see how long, see what my life brings. 
you know, sometimes my life does not always cooperate with things that I want. Does that happen to anybody else? Am I the only one? Um, the only thing I will tell you is when you're going to put these down, go ahead and if you have one that's longer than the other, go ahead and glue stick won't stand up. Go ahead and draw your line. This is just a Crayola marker. One of my kids took it. One of my kids has Crayola markers. And I like them, these Crayola metallic markers. If you haven't used them, they're super cool. You know, these, I think these are going to go on the packages and I'm, I have family that doesn't live near me and I think these are going to go on the packages or, you know, just a little note. Maybe I'll send some in Happy Mail to some of my some of my YouTube friends. So the idea is just to have fun in creating what you're doing, not to, it doesn't have to be. Hmm, let me move this one over. I don't, because I don't like things straight in a line and doing it that way. Anyway, the whole idea is just to have fun making it and to enjoy yourself. And to art, try to art 15 minutes a day. So the ones this month obviously will be a little bit more holiday themed um, as I do have the need for holiday tags. But the other ones I think will just be art. Just art for the sake of art and using my glue top as a burnisher. Art for the sake of art and not and for no reason. You know, it doesn't have to, you don't have to art for any reason, you guys. It's just supposed to be fun supposed to be fun and no stress so I don't know do you guys am I the only one that sometimes I get stressed out over the holidays do you guys get stressed out over the holidays I do maybe this one I'll only have two and I'll do three on this one um you know the expectations of others and your children and things like that to um I don't know give gifts or that sort of thing. No, also I don't want anybody to go out and buy anything to make this. This is supposed to be just use what you have. And if you guys, if this is your first time following me, I am, I make, I love making things out of recycling. It's like one of my, one of my favorite things. One of my most favorite things is to make stuff out of things that might have otherwise end up in a landfill. And we're just recycled stuff that I can repurpose. I love that. So that's where Tag A Day came from. Tag A Day came from me just wanting to indulge myself and in giving myself a goal to art 15 minutes a day. Just to art 15 minutes a day. Like you don't have to, but it's nice when you can find that creative outlet for yourself. You know, when you can just enjoy it and I'm a different color one. When you can just enjoy it and, and it not have to be about an end result. So, and I think with small art, it's like, it's much more doable. You know what I mean? Small art is so much more doable. Somebody said to me, oh, I want to art bigger. Well, an art bigger, I mean, it's just to get yourself in the hang of, or in the swing of, the 15 minute a day arting. I'm going to move this one over just a little bit. That's all. It's really just to get yourself in the hang of making art for 15 minutes a day. And these tags, um, just little small art. You could, you could do anything. It's up to you. So this was day three of making a tag a day. These are holiday themed. Um, as you can see, they took very little time. You probably could do, I don't know, five or six in 15 minutes. Anyway, I hope you join me again tomorrow. And as always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so, so, so much aloha. Take care.